Hey guys, uh, I thought I would make a quick video on how to use the plot function in MATLAB to generate plots as well as go into detail on how we can have multiple uh, plots on the same graph if you wanted to uh, concisely uh, picture your data. And what I'll do is uh, take you through every step of that process. So in a generic example, let's declare some kind of time vector and it will range from zero to three. And this can be arbitrary units for the sake of this example, we'll say it has units of seconds. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll define some functions to actually plot. So we'll define a function y1 and y1 will simply be equal to the time. We will also define a function y2. We'll let that be equivalent to time raised to the one half power. And we'll define some function y3 as being equivalent to uh, time raised to the second power. And so now what we'll do is to actually plot this, we'll uh, type in figure. And if we wanted to generate multiple figures in the same script, we would uh, denote it by having a figure preceding the line of code that defines it. Uh, the next step we'll do is we'll plot and then uh, what we are interested in plotting will be the independent variable followed by the dependent variable. So time followed by y1. And to get a second plot on here, we would simply do time uh, versus y2 and time versus y3. So now that we've got that, we can define our x label, what it goes on the x axis, and we'll define this to be um, time in seconds and we'll define our y label what goes on to your y-axis and the plot that is generated as being the uh, y of t and uh, this could describe position for example and then finally uh, we'll add in a legend to our plot so that we'll we are able to differentiate the functions and then um, it goes in the sequential order in which these functions were defined so we have y1 y2 y3 so we'll have y1 followed by y2, followed by y3. And finally, we'll give our plot a title and we'll call this uh, y123 over time. And so now we will run the script and first name it. So this will be example plot. And another thing with these names, MATLAB does not like it when you have spaces. Um, oops. <laughs> so uh, this is a good point that uh, to note. When we are dealing with vectors, you need to have dots in front of them before um, actually multiplying the uh, term. So now this should run, and it does, and we see data that looks a bit like this. Um, and so one of the things you'll note at this point is how coarse this graph is because MATLAB is taking data points every one increment. So if we wanted to get smoother curves, what we do is this. So we'll close out this figure. And then in our time vector definition, if we define a step size of 0 0.01, uh, we can now get much smoother, beautiful lines uh, that looks like this. So um, that concludes this uh, introduction to the MATLAB plot function. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching.